So today I was thinking of doing a video where I disguised myself from myself because I am bored of how I look. Mm. So I have already primed my face with the Cool Calm and Corrected Primer from Ulta 3 and Maybelline Baby Skin to fill in my pores, get myself prepared for makeup. So now I'm going to do my eyebrows and I like doing my eyebrows thin, sharp, cut, whatever. So I'm gonna make them bushy. Yep. Okay, not loving it, but it's we're gonna make it work. Um, for my eyebrows, I used the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Duo Brow Pencil. I've run out of the thin end, which is so sad. So I've been using the thick end. Now I'm gonna go in with some brow gel. This is from ColourPop. This is. The clear one but it's more white than clear mm. okay brow gels in I see no difference they just kind of look oh my god this look bad now I'm going to conceal around my eyebrows with Maybelline fit me in the shade 5 ivory okay eyebrows are done and now I'm gonna do my foundation and for foundation I'm going to be using this stick foundation from DB cosmetics the flawless two um, all-in-one foundation in the shade Classic Ivory. This is the second lightest shade and yet it is way too dark for me. So if it's too dark I'm going to be mixing some of this in it so that I don't get clocked for carrot appropriation. It's not too bad. I remember it being a lot darker. Okay, so this is a shade or two lighter, I mean darker. You can't tell on camera, but... For highlighting and concealing, I will be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 02 and Fair 06. And I have put it down my nose to try and change the shape of my nose as well. I know it's a lot, but I want to change the shape of my face. I want to bring a lot of brightness right here. I'm going to cream contour as well with the Sculptor from Tarte. Now to set my concealer, I'll be using a translucent powder and a tapered brush. I'm going to leave this on for a while to make it extra bright. Now I'm going to set my eyelids because they're creasing like crazy. To set my eyelids, I'll be using a little bit of DB Cosmetics Ready Set Setting Powder in the shade Translucent on a flat brush. Okay, my face is powdered and set and ready to go. Now I'm going to contour. To contour today, I will be using ColourPop's Opening Act on a small face dome brush. And I'll be placing this higher up to give the effect that my cheekbones are higher than where they actually are. A bit on my forehead too. I'm going to pull the contour lower to give the effect that I have a smaller forehead. Then to make the contour a little more dramatic, I'll be going in with the DB Cosmetics uh, contour book in the shade Coco, this bottom dark one, with the same brush. Now I'm going to wipe away the powder. I'm just going to define my nose slightly with what is left on this brush. I'm going to sharpen up my nose contour with an angled blending brush and Colourpop's opening act. Then to brighten down the centre and around the sides I'm going to be going back in with my DB Cosmetics translucent powder with the same brush just right down the middle to give the illusion that my nose is smaller 
than it actually is. Now I'm going to move on to blush. For blush today I'll be using the Lancome Peach Number no. 6. A little bit on the tip of my nose and a tiny bit just on my forehead. And I'm just going to blend my forehead parts out with the brush that I use to wipe away my translucent powder. Now to lighten under where I contoured, I'm going back in with my translucent powder and my beauty sponge. And then just dabbing the powder underneath the line of makeup. And this erases any darkness that you do not desire from that area as this is a brightening powder and so it will make the contour much more defined and purposeful. I'm going to leave that there to bake. Now is for my favourite part! Eyeshadow! I'm just going to quickly bake my smile lines so that I have no undesired creasing because I am smiley miley for eyeshadow today, I'll be using this beauty that I got from Sports Girl. It is the Wild Watermelon Eyeshadow Palette. It is a quad. I got it for $9 on clearance. So yay. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm going to be using this shade in particular. It is a bright matte orange. I'm going to set down some translucent powder just under here so that... I have no fallout because I have not tried this palette yet. I was going to straighten my hair for this video, but I don't have three spare hours. To start off, I'm going to go in with a packing brush. This is from Eco Tools. Hi! This bright orange matte shade. And I'm just going to pack this onto my eyelid. Ooh! Ew, do you see my eyeball? That's gross. So I'm just continuing to pack this onto my eyelid in a circular shape. Now I'm going to go in with this, this brush from BH Cosmetics. It's um, a rounded blending brush. And I'm just going to blend out the edges very softly. Okay, so I was going to blend out this orange, but instead I think I'm going to put a bit of Colourpop's Tape Flight and just pack that above using a different brush. I'm going to use this swatch it on my forehead. So I'm just going to go one, two, three. That was four. Oops. Just reapplying some of the orange to bring back the pigment that I may have brushed away. Okay, so I found a slightly mid toned shade between this very red based orange and this yellow. It is Puffs from the Morphe 35B palette. And I'm just going to be placing it right between where the two shades meet to try and make the blend better. Okay, that looks much better. I'm just going to try and blow that out a little bit more out here. I'm going to do the other eye off camera. Okay, now for my lower lash line. I'm going to go for some purple. So, I'm going to use this brush it is a liner brush, and that is this shade right here. Just coat that. I'll be running this just under my bottom eyelashes. And I'm just going to blend out this purple with a little bit of this pink shade right here called Bikini. Now for eyelashes, I'm going to be using this really random eyelash curler that I probably got off the floor somewhere and the Tarte what's this? Lights Camera Lashes! Duh! Okay, time for a little bit of a story time about three months ago I fell over on the dirt like the bitumen and I tore two ligaments in my ankle my left ankle and three months later it's still 
painful and swollen and I still need to keep it strapped and it's not healing so I went to a doctor she thinks it could be fractured but I had an x-ray and it came back negative so she was like oh it's an occult fracture which means that you can't see it on the x-ray so I'm like okay so then last night I went to my physiotherapist and he said oh it could be an avulsion fracture which means that when I fell over I pulled on the ligaments so hard that a chunk of bone came off with it and that is also fairly undetectable in an x-ray which means I've got to go for an MRI to get my ankle checked out now I'm going to do my other side I'll insert some pictures of my ankle if you don't want to see the like the bruising and the swelling I'll put a little time stamp as to where you can skip to now for my lower lash line I'm gonna keep going with the purple theme and use some of Jeffree Star's I'm royalty I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand like that then I'm gonna get this teeny itty bitty little eyeliner brush and I'm just going to put a little bit of now I'm gonna wipe away the translucent powder now time for some fake eyelashes I'm back the lashes that I use are beauty lashes in the style Andrea and now I'm going to do some highlighter I'm going to be using my Jeffree Star ice cold this highlighter is something else altogether I've almost forgot in a corner highlight then I'm gonna go in with my Tarte skin twinkle palette volume one you know it doesn't say then I'm gonna go in with sunlight now I'm going to do my lips I'm gonna use the Elizabeth Arden natural lip pencil okay so I made them a bit bigger and I rounded off my cupid's bow so I don't know what lipstick I should do I could do a <gasps> I'm gonna do androgyny by Jeffree Starkle Nitty because this came this week and I'm so excited oh now I usually don't do lip gloss but because I'm trying to be a different person I'm gonna use lip gloss this is from Estée Lauder Estée Lauder this is from my mum love you <laughs> and I think that is the look um, pretty much done Ooh, I like this I look very different to how I looked before I'll show you how I looked before please pray for my mirror because ouch Yep, just had to re-pierce that one. <laughs> I look crazy. Just gonna blend my foundation. Mm. So one time I gave myself a fringe with like the ratty ends, ends of my hair. And it was kind of fun. It was kind of good and fresh. <coughs> Absolutely not. I, I can't believe that looks so trash. Okay, bye. So I just do a middle part. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get. Thanks for watching!